David encouraged himself in the Lord. I'd like to call this one encouragement in dark days. You talk about a hard day at the office. David comes to Ziklag. Saul's out to kill him. The Philistines have thrown him out of the army. His own heart condemns him. His wife and family are gone. His city is burned. And his own men are ready to stone him to death. Now that's a dark day, isn't it? What's he going to do? Can't look back. Because if he looks back, he's going to see his own failure and the reason he was in this mess. Can't look ahead because Saul's still out to kill him. Can't look around because his own brethren are ready to stone him to death. So he looks up. That's the only direction left, wasn't it? Now, we pass through dark days. And it sure would be nice if there were lots of people going around encouraging everybody, wouldn't it? Say, well, we don't have any encouragers in our assembly. So I'll just sit here and have a little pity party. Poor old me. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Well, David said, I'll tell you what. I can't find any encouragement in the king. I can't find any encouragement in my circumstances. I can't find any encouragement in my own heart. If you look inside and you're honest, you'll just get discouraged. The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? That means... Who can get to the bottom of it? Who can plumb its depth? You dig through the muck and you get to the filth. And you dig through the filth and you get to the garbage. And you dig through the garbage and you get to the slop. And there's nothing there. I suppose there are times for self-examination. Although David said, the man after God's heart, Lord, you look inside. I can't love me the way I am. You love me in spite of what I am. So you look inside and you see if there be any wicked way in me. And you lead me in the way everlasting. You show me what has to go, what's wrong. And you show me what's right. And I'll just agree and go with you. That's the the happy way, isn't it? Well, David didn't have anybody there to encourage them, though. Well, he says, I've got this little do-it-yourself encouragement kit here. So David encouraged himself in the Lord. Even when there weren't those around who were encouraging he could look up into the face of the Lord and encourage himself in that. The sun shone again for David. In fact, this was the darkness just before the dawn. But I'd like you to notice that it was 20 years from the time David was anointed king until he sat on the throne in Jerusalem. There is one constant in the Christian's life. There's one thing that never changes. And that's the Lord. No matter how tough circumstances get, the Lord never changes. And I can always encourage myself in the Lord.